Now today we're going to be doing the change places close, which is a technique you can use to try and understand why your prospect won't buy and what those objections are. You might not know what the objections are and those objections are killing your deal. So number one, you need to find out what they are. Then once you've found out what they are, you need to handle those objections and then you need to close. Close on the next point, close on the appointment, close on the sale, close on agreement. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, share, and if you wanna subscribe, that'd be great. <laughs> Let's get into this. So imagine you're giving a presentation and your prospect won't give you or tell you the key reason why they don't want to buy. They're just umming and ahhing, they're not really being that clear, and it's going on a little bit like that. Maybe it's happened for a couple of times. You really need to get to the bottom of it and stop you know, wasting your time as well as wasting their time. It's helping you and it's helping them. So one way to help you understand how you can um, you know, find out this information is to realize for every product, there is a key feature that makes them want to buy and there is a key problem or barrier that's making them not want to buy. The key feature might be you know, something unique that you offer. The key um, you know, barrier might be the cost. It might be the price. Now, a video that I'm going to do at a later date is the difference between price and cost mind-blowing when we get into it but we'll do that in another video like i say if you don't find out what the key barrier is or what the key benefit that they want to get from this product is they're never going to buy from you and understanding what this is will help you get to your goal and then get to their goal because the way that we should be thinking about sales is if you help other people solve their problems which is what your product or solution should do it should fix a problem that they have um, or that they're doing, it should save them money, it should do something for their benefit. If you can help them fix their problems, you can fix your problems, which is not selling enough or not selling in great enough quantities. So this closing technique will help you dig into the prospect's um, reasons why they are not wanting to move forward. But here's how you use the change places close. You say, Mr. Prospect, Mrs. Prospect, would you mind changing places with me just for the moment? Or say, Mr. Prospect, Mr. Prospect, would you mind uh, putting yourself in my shoes for a minute? Which they will do if they're at all empathetic. And as long as you're showing them a product or a service that's really good for them, that will help them, that you know will help them. And you say, Mr. Prospect, Mrs. Prospect, would you mind putting yourself in my position, putting yourself in my shoes just for a moment? Imagine you were in my shoes and you were trying to tell a prospect or a person how it could help save them money and how you really thought that it could add value to their future. But they weren't telling you the reason why they didn't want to buy. What would you do if you were in my position? Now, at this point, the prospect might say, look, you know, this is the reason that I'm hesitating. This is the, the piece that we're missing here uh, because you've led them to that point. So essentially, you know, would you mind just putting yourself in my shoes for a minute? I know that this product will add value to X. It'll help you achieve the goals that you told me are important to you. Imagine if you were talking to somebody that you really respected and you were showing them a product or a service that could help save them money or value or whatever is important to them. Now imagine they wouldn't tell you the reason why they wouldn't make a buying decision right now. Or they wouldn't make a decision one way or another, yes or no. What would you do in that situation? You can say, what would you do if you were in my position and um, you, know, you were talking to someone that wouldn't make a decision, yes or no? What would you do? And then to get a little bit more information out of this, you can ask them, you know, is it the price or is it the product? What, which is the area of concern here? If it's not the money, he'll say, no, it's not the money, it's the product. Or if he says, no, it's, it's not the product, you say, okay, is it the money? And if he says, yes, it is the money, you say, what about the money is the issue here? Is it all at once? Or is it too much of an instalment? What, what, what part of the money is too expensive? If they say, no, it's not the money, no, it's not the products or services, you can ask, okay, well, well I, I just want to ask, you know, what is it that's causing you to hesitate here? If they say, yes, it is the money, you can say, Mr. Prospect, Mrs. Prospect, what would we have to do to satisfy you on that point? If, it, if they say, yes, it is the money, okay, Mr. Prospect, what would we need to do to, to do a deal today? Or how far apart are we? Now, these are powerful closing questions that you can ask, which helps your buyer. Maybe it helps themselves understand for the first time what the real reason is, because they might not actually know. 
Now, sometimes you might find that you're very close on the price. Sometimes you might find that you have an issue that you didn't even know about. And this is where you can go back in to handle those objections. Sometimes people say things like they won't pay over X number of dollars because they know somebody who bought something for X number of dollars. And you might realise that you're only, you know, a couple of dollars apart, which you might be able to come to an agreement on. So once again, those questions that really help you understand is that if they say it's too expensive, say, what about the price is too expensive? Is it, is it all at once? Or is it, you know, would payments help? If they say, you know, it's all at once or payments or whatever. You say, how far apart are we? You know, what would we need to do to do a deal today? You tell me and I'll find out if it's possible for you. Most people are quite honest and they'll say, look, this is what we'll have to do to do a deal today. And then you say, OK, let me see what I can do. And at least you're still in the game. You still have a chance to sell. <laughs> Hi, guys. Thanks for coming to my channel. This is where we're going to be looking at audiobooks and how we can improve what we can do and what we can learn from some of the best audiobooks in the world. And I want to let you in on a little secret. If you're not a fast reader, I'm not either. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be conquering that with audiobooks. We can listen to the audiobooks. I'll show you how. And if you have any questions, let me know. So let's get into this. I look forward to going on this journey with you. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been the Change Places Closing Technique. Now, you can use this when the buyer is throwing up objections and you don't really know what the real reason is, or if they're not making a decision either, either way. Now, stay tuned because we'll be making content every single day. I'm loving all of your feedback and content and comments so far. It's really helpful. Um, and what we're going to be digging into more is interviews, jobs, the, the mental side of the application process and how we can really make sure that we battle that self-doubt that creeps into every single body. I deal with it on a regular basis um, and, it, and it's not about um, you know, eliminating it. It's more about you know, driving the car with it in the, you know, the passenger seat rather than it in the, uh, the driving seat. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and if you want to subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Bah! See you later.